Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15-PW014 model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the mechanical drive to an SSD solid state drive, which are much faster than the mechanical drive. The bottleneck on these processors are on this laptop is the mechanical drive because they have a very low limit of the read and write speed and the windows and everything has to be in the same place. It really makes a really bad bottleneck right there and it slows down. Some people say like, if I add more RAM it's going to be fast. No, it's not going to be make the system the stuff that fast. But by upgrading the mechanical drive to a solid state drive, it is going to affect tremendously. Because the mechanical hard drives, they do have a lot of platters and other headers that they have, they spin around and they just have to work all the time and they are more fragile. But the solid state drives are really fast and you can with them inside the laptop, you can move them around and they will be just fine. Just remember, before we do this process, you need to back up your data and your files to an external hard drive. Because once you remove the mechanical drive from your laptop, you're not going to have any operating system or any files on the new drive. You have to install the Windows on the, uh, on the on your new hard drive, new solid state drive. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I made a video how to properly install it on a HP laptop. Those links can be found on my video description. That is really easy. It takes five about five to ten minutes you can do it i already recommend you fresh install of the windows but if you want to conserve your same windows that you have same files program you have you don't want to format you can do another one which i don't really recommend you is to grab yourself a, a sata to a usb adapter and you can grab your ssd drive i would recommend a samsung ssd or crucial ssd but the client brought me a gigabyte which is not really that great. If you want a really durable SSD, go with a Samsung brand or with a Crucial brand. So back to copying or cloning your files. So what you want to do, if you don't want to format, you want to grab a SATA to a USB adapter, plug it in here and plug into your laptop and download a cloning program, which is called Mercurium Reflect. And you can clone your mechanical hard drive or your Windows, everything directly to your uh, solid state drive. Mm -hmm. And then you just swipe the places and it's going to boot up and it's going to be fine. But the downside is the architecture of the algorithm of the installing on a mechanical drive is a little bit different than solid state drive. So you might, you will get actually some few black and blue screen of that is going to get sudden shutdown sudden freezes randomly probably will get because of the cloning process but if you fresh install windows you will not have any of these issues all right with that said let's continue also with your mechanical drive you can purchase an enclosure for your mechanical drive so you can use it as an external hard drive which is really good all right I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. It's an, a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. And from this set, I'm going to be using a Phillips number one, number zero. You need an opening tool. If you get the pro version, they'll include you with an opening tool. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So what do we want to do first? Back up your files or shut down your computer. Flip the computer upside down and we're going to remove the battery first by pulling these triggers inside. This one goes this way and slide out the battery. All right, there are a few hidden screws. We're going to expose them right under the rubber cover. So that's why we need the opening tool. We're going to stick it right on the bottom of the covers and we're going to rubber and lift it up. They have a lot of adhesive, you just have to peel it up and put them to one side and you're going to see the screws right underneath them. Now there's a hidden screws right under the battery, we need to remove these two and the camera flashed one in the middle too, don't forget about those and the one in the middle center, front center. So starting from one corner, we're going to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Keep them in one pile. 
Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It's a big motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the video comment. I appreciate that. Well, once we remove all the screws, now what we want to do is to open up the screen a little bit. And in here, we want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, and we're going to just twist it like this. And we're going to hear big clicking, that's what we want to hear. We want to twist all around in the front end, we want to do the same thing on the sides, go all the way to the back corner, like that, and left and right side. If your laptop is old, depending when you're watching this video. Uh, you might break few of these tiny clips inside. Don't worry about it. It's very normal to break them They do get dried out and those clips are only there for Factory lineup so the case is stays together by the time it gets to the Screw station so they can the screws can hold it in place Now that we removed uh, we unclip them from the sides and the front. We're gonna grab the bottom case Just separate it and run your fingers right across Put your finger on the hair and lift it up, pull it up, and squeeze it out. So there's your bottom casing. And down here, once we remove, you can see the hard drive right over here. The hard drive is being held down by a caddy. We call them half caddy because it only holds the back end of the hard drive. So we're going to remove one uh, screw, which is right over here. Is a chromy screw. Is a small one. Once we remove that, we can lift up the hard drive, the back end, just enough. We have clearance to pull back about 10, 15 degrees. Once you pull it back, you're gonna get separation right there. Now there's a Toshiba one terabyte hard drive. We do need this caddy. It's like a metal bracket holding the hard drive in place. So we do need to make sure we have the same orientation. The pins, the power cable connector, and the SATA one has to fit be facing the same way so you don't want to put it this way so what we want to do here is remove these two screws and remove the bracket put it over on the other one once you have it in this position you want to put this connector right inside this jack in 10 15 degree all the way in and push it down make sure you squeeze it right there and put the chrome screw right over this motherboard does not have any co uh, connectors for M.2 connectors, so you have to have to go with the SATA 2.5 inch. Right, once we have this one in there, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, scoop down this uh, internet port side, this side down HDMI port, scoop it in, bring it in 45 degree angle, scoop it in, push down the back corner, the front corner, make sure those clicks, push it down, push the back nicely. Once you open it up, if there's any opening, just pinch them together and it should go in place. Right now I'm going to power it on and I'm going to put the USB boot drive in there so you guys can see it actually worked and the process of the installing. Again, remember the links for creating the USB boot drive will be in my video description in case you want to uh, install your windows so i'm just going to put this back in for the hinges i'm going to put the battery in so i'll come back i'll put the screws and put the rubber legs on top so to keep the video short let's open it up all right let me grab my usb and windows 10 usb I'm going to stick it to uh, any USB port that I have. And I'm going to power on. I'm going to keep tapping on escape until we see a menu that tells you. I'll show you in a second. The screen is really reflective in here. So I'm going to keep tap pressing on tapping on escape. If it doesn't work the first time, power it off. Power on again and keep tapping again right in turn on okay let's try it again i see the hp logo one 
right there it says escape pause for a startup i keep tapping on that and i do get this message right here it says f1 for system diagnostic f9 for boot device so i'm gonna press f9 and from here we're gonna choose our usb drive and now it's gonna boot up through our usb drive so once it it starts booting up we're going to get to the windows installation and again the video the proper way of installing it is in my video description follow that to install your windows the proper way as always i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please click that like and subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you guys in my next video thanks for watching